What baby? We'll shoot it. I didn't realize you had so many billboards. Huh? I didn't realize we had so many of these. I just hadn't paid oh. attention to how many were out here. Tell right there. The difference in putting the cart down and not putting the cart down. Yeah. So you're planting a cover crop? Yeah, I'll just go in here and broadcast some wheat and what'd you pick up? Radishes? Yeah, daikon. Yeah. Yeah just broadcast it with a cedar uh -huh. and then take the four-wheeler and aerator the roller with spikes on it uh -huh. and just run over it gotcha. turn the sprinklers on <coughs> just in preparation for next year yeah so tomatoes are gonna be in the same place right yeah yeah so next next March I'll put these tarps back on top of the wheat okay yeah Can we try it? What? Oh, it's in the hole? Yeah. It's not going to, I don't think it's going to work, baby, because it's so, it's still got these little knots on it. It's too knotty. Let me hold it beside of it and see if I can do it, okay? I do it wide off. Ready? Yeah. There it went. This. This. With this, Mama? Yeah. This is safe. This is. Then you put that on. Not really. Now do you see? You see it now? This one. Alright, be careful. Okay. Why have been out here doing this? I should ask you that. <laughs> what? Looks really funny. Oh my word. No There's a mouse down there. Go down there to the end. You saw a mouse? A rat. A rat. Whoa. Come right up here. You see where the, the green part? Up this way. Look at me. Yeah. Can you pull that? A lizard. No, gr pull the green part. Daddy needs your help right now. There'll be Ready? more, look, more uh, lizards. Yeah, I think so. Come over to the corner. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, you're good. Just pull right there.
<laughs> yeah, I'm on. You hit the asparagus mound, didn't you? You're doing great, buddy. I need that wheel. You do? Oh, that is oh, a big block. <laughs> Bullfrog. You think it's a bullfrog? No. No. Look, Daddy. Yep. I'm going to put in capital for you. Put it in my mouth. Mm -mm. Never again. Let me hold the baby so you can watch him. Okay. You getting tired? Let's do some recording. You want to? Get up here and talk with me. Got my help with me today. So we're trying uh, really hard to get this pasture finished up over here. I'm um, getting really close. Uh, I'm planning to bring some cows over tomorrow. That'll be fun, won't it, buddy? Yeah. So um, just got a couple things on the fence I've got to fix, and I've got to get their uh, their water lines hooked up so that they can have water. And I think we're going to be good to go. Um, I would like to talk to you a little bit about. Just something I've been thinking about today just um, being in a hurry like making plans and um, those plans not working out and I know I know everybody struggles with that but I don't know I've been I've been thinking about it a lot today that's something I, I really struggle with is um, you know you, you make a plan you, you figure out what you want to do and things just don't work out like today it's already almost one o'clock and I haven't really done anything yet. Not that I haven't worked, but things just haven't worked out as planned. So it's one of those days where things are taking twice as long as, as expected. And uh, it could be frustrating. Do any of you struggle with that? Do you have any suggestions on, on how, to, how to handle that? What about you, buddy? Uh, how do you handle when you make plans and they don't work out? I don't know. <laughs> So anyway, we'll show you guys while we, um, you know, show you guys around while we're hooking up the water, or Travis is going to take you around, hooking up the water and, and the fence and uh, getting it ready for cows. All right, buddy, it's all yours. Okay. All right, so once again, I got distracted from what I was doing. Uh, the guy that owns the property came up, so I was helping him. But uh, then I forgot the camera. But anyway, we got the skid steer over here and got some tubs set up. I'm catching some water off this roof, but I've also got a water line. And I'm fixing to figure out how to um, mount this float valve here. I'm thinking I could just loosen that and put it down between that board and screw it tight. I'm gonna give it a shot. It's not not my favorite setup, but I'm just working with what I've got.
hooked up. Just got to figure out a way to keep the cows out of the water line since this is going to be a permanent water fixture and they're going to be coming here all the time. I believe this pallet will keep them from coming this way. Now I just need to put something over that. I guess I'm going to screw a board to the pallet to keep them from bumping that valve down. You want to show everybody what you've done? No. You're ready to go home, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, so this is about the best I could do with what I had. It feels pretty stout. Doesn't look very pretty, but got this board here keeping the, the water valve down because it was wanting to raise up and run. Um, got these boards here to keep the cows off the water line. So we'll see, see how long it lasts. It's not the prettiest, but hey, I think it's going to work. What you think, buddy? All right, so now we've got to go and uh, we got to go finish the fence. We've got to figure out how to keep the cows out of the barn so they don't eat the hay and figure out how to get it sectioned off. Daisy gets out gracefully. Yeah. And the big <laughs>